It frequently occurs that you have to cancel or amend slips after you originally file them. We'll have a look here at how you cancel and how you amend from profile. Let's go have a look at a profile FX file. I'm in a 2022 FX file and I have a T4 and, and I'm going to amend the T4 and cancel the T5. If I go up to eFile, if I look here, the status, I've already transmitted the T4 and T5. So I can't do anything now with T4s or T5s unless I put the status to not transmit it. So I'll go up here to properties. So I'll change eFile to work in process. It can be ready to file. Let's do both. And then the T, T5, I can change that to ready to file. So it can be work in process or ready to file. Okay, so now what I need to do is I want to amend a T4. And on the slip type, for the slip I want to amend, I can, from the drop down, select amend it. And the issue here was forgot the tax. So it should have been $300. And that's the only change I have to make. You can see in the auditor, this kind of change doesn't produce any reduce an error. Okay, so now I'm ready. I've got it amended. I've made the change I need to amend. Now I can go up to eFile, Federal Slips Transmit, and I can see it's going to let me file. So if I go to Original here, under Type, this is amended, and then if I click on the line, Profile will send or build an XML to send with only amended slips. So then I can just proceed. After you uh, get to the stage, uh, filing to CRA the XML is the same as the original, except in this case, I'm going to be uploading an XML. And here it tells me where the XML is located and it has an A so I can identify this as the amended and then I just proceed from usual as usual. So that's the the T4. Let's have a look at how we cancel slips. And I've got this T5 and it turns out this person shouldn't receive a T5. So I want to cancel this and all I have to do is mark this as cancelled under report type and that's it. Uh, the temptation is to remove the amounts from the slip, but if you do that, it'll be an empty slip and you can't send an empty slip. So you leave all the amounts as they were, mark it as canceled, and once you transmit it to CRA, they will just remove the slip. Let's go and file now. I've got the filing and T5 is ready to file, but this one is canceled. So I can click on this, it's ready to file. Want to send any canceled slips. There's one here, but it will send any canceled slips. Then I can click next and then profile built a, an XML named it canceled or C to indicate it's canceled. We can just go ahead and file the same way we did with the original, same way we did with the, uh, the amended and that's it. And that's the end of this video. I just want to mention a couple things here. Uh, we amended a, a T4 and canceled a T5. All the information required is in the XML that you sent, like I showed here. The other thing to mention is that if you have new original slips, like you have a new T4 that you have to send, or you had a new T5, you would have to start a new FX file. I can't send new originals from the same file. I'd have to start a new, a new FX file. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. And for more support options, you can go to our website. It's profile.intuit.ca.